Hello, good morning. Um, I am coming in just quick with a some comment news. Um, I think I might, I'm streaming this live in my Facebook group, but I might put this on YouTube as well for people to see. Um, I am not, everyone who knows me knows I'm not an astronomer. However, I like to get my news um, and spaceweather.com is fantastic. And they're reporting on this major outburst from Comet um, 12 P, um, a Pons Brooks comet. And there's been some stuff going on with this comet, um, over the last couple months. And actually I like this one cause it's called the uh, millennium Falcon flies again. Um, because there's a few things that happened in July and October with it and made it look like the millennium Falcon, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, but what they're saying here is that this could turn into a naked eye object at a fourth or fifth magnitude um, coming up to close to when we have the total, total solar eclipse next year, which is pretty awesome. Um, but what you're seeing here is that it's had some pretty interesting um, it's had some pretty interesting things happening just over the last few days and uh, it's I believe it is something like, a magnitude of nine right now. So that means if you're using binoculars or a scope in your backyard, you should be able to see it. As always, if that's the case, uh, we want to know where it's going to be. Now, depending on what you have in your stellarium, you might not be able to find it. So I'm going to just um, switch us here to see stellarium. There we go. Um, and let me just move this over just a wee, wee little bit. Uh, so if I go and search it in here, it is not coming up. So in Stellarium, when we go to this little search window, it's not coming up here. So instead, um, we have to bring it in. So we come down to the configuration window. Uh, it's going to start you on main. You want to go over to where it says plugins and then go down to the solar system editor. From here, we click configure. Now in here, there are a few places, but we want to go over to where it says um, solar system. And we come down here to where it says import orbital elements. And when we come in here, so I've already been doing this, but when we come in here, um, we're going to find objects basically. Now you can scroll to find the one that you want, or you can paste it in. So I just did 12p slash Pons Brooks. So I'm going to click this one here and I'm going to click to add the object in. So that just brings it in. Um, here with your list, you can go comments versus etc. And we can go, um, when I choose, I generally just choose this one, the MCORP comments. I don't know if that's the, the best one to get or not, um, but that's where we get this and we can add and bring that object in. Once we do that, then we click X out of everything else. When we go to this search window and we go that I have in 12P, here it is, 12P Pons Brooks, that's going to come up. So now it's going to take us to where it's at. Of course, oops, sorry. Uh, my location right now is Halifax because that's where I am. Um, we've got to go um, into the night. So let's get this into the night, um, and now I've lost it. So I'm just going to actually search again for it because then it's going to go and center on it for me. And now I can see where it's going to be at night, and this will give me a better idea if I, oops, if I need to, I can, um, I can zoom out so I can kind of see where it's going to be at. I lost it again, so I'm just going to search it, bring it back up. Um, so here we can see it's actually super close to Vega. Um, so that's going to make it a lot easier to find. But we can kind of see, like, here's where it goes through through the night. So my night, my dark night, starts at about 6.30. Good old winter. Um, 6.30 p.m. We pretty much have full dark right now. So you can see it's up in the sky. It's up pretty high with Vega. And then we can see it's going to come down um, and set to the northwest at around 1130. So this will be a little bit different depending on where you are, where you live, um, but this is a good way to find it. So Vega and then just a little bit off from Vega over here. Um, and if we zoom in quite a bit, we can start to see it. So this might be 
my comet um, that uh, gets to be a naked eye, which would be super, super cool. If you have the gear and uh, the want, it's the type of thing that you could get out and you could um, start to be looking for it, um, looking for it with binoculars. You know, with binoculars, you're going to be easily able to see Vega in the sky and then come off to the side. Um, averted vision tends to help with comets because they're fuzzy. They're not this bright object in the sky like stars are. Um, and then, of course, we can try to take pictures of it um, with our gear. Uh, if you have a tracker, that's going to help even more. I have not. I have not at all. I just uh, today literally went and read that article and I was like, oh, it seems like it's doing some pretty cool things. Um, I'll just bring it back so we can see. It's on spaceweather.com. If you just go, it'll have um, it'll have this uh, the second article that we have there. So that's all. I just wanted to come in super quick. Uh, it's much easier for me to show these things um, just by video super quick. So hopefully uh, we'll have some people with some clear enough skies to go and see it. And if you do, let me know um, because... Uh, yeah, because I, I always love seeing um, what we get out and what we're doing. Okay, have a great day. Thanks, everyone.